I'm Michaela and I'm a front-end developer and UX designer from Berlin. I am self-employed for the last five or six years and I'm doing mostly uh, yeah, contracting stuff for clients. Most of the time like these fancy WebGL websites or so and then yeah, some hybrid apps. So we know each other from the Angular community and how actually did you find yourself in the React community? Well, actually it was only React VR. So this is such a cool project that I started um, trying out React.js. It looked really cool. Um, not as cool as Angular, I guess, <laughs> but it's really cool and React VR is so, so amazing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about React VR? React VR is basically, so you can write VR applications with um, only pure React VR and WebGL API, uh, Web VR and WebGL API, but it's kind of um, exhausting <laughs> because you have to write so much code and then it isn't really clean and you can't really see what's happening. React VR is so cool because it has these components and a component hierarchy and they made so cool VR components like a VR button that already has um, like click and gaze um, listeners and or a panel component where you already just have to drop your image, your equirectangular image, and then you can look around and see the 3D image or 360 image. Yeah, it's so cool. So it's actually making VR development really, really easy, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, they, it's just a pre-release at the moment, and it only works in the Camel browser. It's a browser that runs on the Oculus and Samsung handies. Uh, Smartphones, sorry, it's a German word. <laughs> but I think um, when they um, are working more on it, and it's not only a pre release, it's a really, re I don't think you want to write stuff without React VR or such. A Have you seen a lot of um, open source contributors for React VR? I don't think it's open sourced at the moment okay. because there's only. I think there's a repo for the docs and issues, but um, I don't think you can contribute at the moment to the, the code, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, and I know there will some kind, there will be some kind of big release in the next few days, but I don't know yet what it, it will be, so um, I guess we have to wait a few days or weeks, but then, um, yeah, maybe, I guess it will be open sourced and working on more browsers. How does one get started with React VR? Um, you can go to, uh, I don't know the URL at the moment, but you can download a zip package with the code and then, or you can install it via NPM and then, yeah, it gets scaffolded, scaffolded and you have, it, the docs are really cool. Um, you, they scaffold um, four sample projects that you can try out on your um, Samsung hand, Gear VR or on the Oculus. and then see how they were made, the samples, and try for yourself. Being a part of the Angular community and the React community now, do you see similarities, differences? I don't think there has to be this um, kind of, um, how do you say in English? Um, competition. Like competition, mm -hmm. I don't see it. I think we can learn from each other. That's great, that's great. Cool. Uh, where can we find you on the internet? Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter, obviously. Um, my name is Fischer Ela Mayer. <laughs> um, or you can go to my company's page. It's geildanke.com. Yeah. Thank you. Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor, Ben Lesh, to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.